Hey, what's up guys? And in this video, we're gonna be checking out the easiest, fastest, and safest way to learn the elbow air flare. Coming right up. Boom, boom, what's up guys? My name is Coach Sambo, your online b-boy coach, and I've been teaching a lot of people how to do air flares and elbow air flares and stuff like that. So in this video, I'll give you the quickest, fastest, no bullshit way to learn the elbow air flare. So hey, if you're new to this channel right here, then don't hesitate to subscribe by using the little red button that you can find right there. Now before I start sharing my elbow air flare secrets with you guys, I just wanna give you guys this golden rule. And that rule is, if you learn your air flare, you kinda get your elbow air flare for free. But if you learn the elbow air flare, you have to learn the air flare separately. And you kind of want to trust me on this because I've noticed a lot of people are asking for elbow air flare tutorials and that kind of gives me the feeling that they're skipping the air flare. So if you don't listen, it's not my fault. I tried to warn you. Try and save time by working on the air flare first and you'll get all these techniques really easy, you know, after kind of unlocking those air flares. All right, so before we get started, you want to get comfortable on your elbows. Doing elbow freezes with a helper's hand or elbow freezes without a helper's hand, preferably doing elbow pikes on both sides and really getting comfortable in these kind of positions because that's where it all starts. Also, when performing the elbow pike, you want to bring your knees in towards you and kind of avoid stretching both legs because for the elbow air flare, you want to learn it with a pump technique, creating the hop from one elbow to the other. Also, when learning the elbow air flare, it's safer and smarter for you to do it in a safe environment. So on mats or on grass or something like that. Another thing I want to do really, really quick right here is break down the numbering of the hands. So when performing an elbow air flare, you put your first hand on the floor with your power kick. Then the second hand or arm you place on the floor is the one we're going to use to push off and then the third hand or elbow or arm that we're placing on the floor is the catch hand while teaching these kind of moves. So basically you have one, two, and three. And you can kind of figure out what hand is what just by doing a power kick. If not, then you probably need to watch my power kick tutorial that you can watch right here. And I don't know why you're watching this video, son. All right, now we're all set up to work on this elbow air flare. The first thing we want to do is just play around with the elbow pikes and perform a kind of cartwheel kind of move. And from there, just falling to the side, getting comfortable and basically teaching yourself not to be afraid when you're falling backwards or to the side or whatever. You got to feel comfortable in any kind of situation. Probably one of the most important things if you want to learn an elbow air flare. Now, once you've done a couple of these and you're more at ease, hey, that rhymes. You want to start performing an elbow cartwheel. Nothing too fancy, but we want to start from the second arm and cartwheel onto the third arm that we numbered earlier on in the video. Now, when performing an elbow cartwheel, it's basically the same as a normal cartwheel. You want to keep those hips high up, making sure you're completely upside down when performing this. If you can't get those hips up there and perform your cartwheel in a straight line, well, that's kind of telling me that you haven't practiced enough handstands and elbow freezes and all these kind of things. So you might want to do that before you start throwing yourself and breaking your neck. If the elbow cartwheel is not a problem, then we're going to perform that elbow cartwheel, but reaching more behind our head. This way we're getting more shoulder flexibility into the move and working more towards an elbow air flare angle. Learning elbow air flares and air flares with a high angle is probably the smartest way to go. If you look at my students and these kids that are doing all these crazy moves, they all learn their moves with a high angle. The high angle provides you with the opportunity to land safely and stabilize yourself so you can continue on to the next move or the next elbow air flare. But more on that later. Now when performing this elbow cartwheel and reaching behind your head, I really hope you develop enough comfort where you're not afraid of falling anymore and you just basically just do it for fun. At that point, we want to add a little hop room and hop from that one elbow elbow to the other. And that's why we need that pump position. So you want to bring those legs in, kick those legs out, creating the hop from your second elbow to the third elbow that we use in an elbow air flare. And this is the most crucial exercise. The more you have fun with this and the more you can just play around with it, the more insignificant the elbow air flare will be. You want to get used to this. So now that we're used to this angle and we're used to hopping and we're not afraid of falling on our neck anymore, this is the best moment to implement this from a power kick. But to start out with, I recommend you doing it from a small power kick that you perform from your knee. And only from this point on are we going to put our first hand on the floor to start out with. Starting from our knees, performing the power kick with our first hand, placing our second hand on the floor, which is our elbow, and then maybe walking over or hopping over to the third elbow. The choice is up to you. It's going to depend on your body type. It's going to depend on your experience. It's going to depend on how comfortable you are. But hey, this is the easiest way for me to teach someone an elbow air flare. So what do we do now once we kind of unlocked one elbow air flare? What are the most easiest options and what are the smartest options? Well, I'll tell you right now. now. The best thing you want to do if you can kind of execute one elbow air flare is combine it to the windmill. Performing elbow air flare to windmill will develop a better form in your elbow air flare. It'll get you even more at ease with your elbow air flare. And if you can combine it to a windmill, then you can start combining it with other things as well. Basically making
making it possible for you to use the elbow air flare, you know, in battle or with a showcase or whatever you want to do. Just want to add right here that the transition from mats or grass onto the hard floor could lead up to swollen elbows throughout time. You could perform your elbow air flares with elbow pads and stuff like that. But if you want to be the real deal, then I recommend you to just, you know, make sure you get those iron elbows so you can perform it whenever you want, however you want, without panicking that you lost your elbow pads or whatever. You'll get through it, don't worry. Now, when trying to perform multiple elbow air flares, you really want to work on that high angle. The higher the angle is placed when landing that first elbow air flare, the easier it will be for you to connect to the second elbow air flare. And if that angle is well placed and well catched, then it gives you access to the third elbow air flare. Once you build up enough experience with the elbow air flare, you can just start throwing it and basically getting that angle a little lower and those legs a little bit more stretched. You know, these are all things that become possible once you master a proper high elbow air flare. Now, what about variations like one-handed elbow air flare or performing an elbow air flare up to your hand, which we call a Marcio. Shout out to B-Boy Marcio, bro. These are all variations that I teach in my air flare masterclass that you can find on my website. Also on my website, you can sign up for live Zoom classes with your man, Coach Sambo, is I'll be giving you exercises, but also giving you feedback on the exercises as I watch you guys. Super productive with my own students, the Battle Droids crew. All the details are available on my website, and I hope one day you might join us. I hope you learned a lot of elbow air flare valuable knowledge. Don't forget to smash the like button or hit a random comment. These things support me and my channel getting this information out there and taking more people to that next level. I hope you guys had a great time right here with your man, Coach Sambo, and see you soon on the next video or maybe a live stream. Peace.